be married, you can't have children, um, you have to be over 18, high school graduate, you have to speak Navajo. <laughs> Could you repeat that question in English, please? Doing this whole pageant thing, she wasn't even going to do it in the first place. It was all started out as a dare. A year ago, I would have never thought I'd be running for Miss Navajo Nation pageant. I'm not a very, very social person. Actually, I'm very um, introverted in a lot of ways, and, and, um, and this is something that I have, have really struggled with. And my parents are always encouraging us to improve, improve, improve yourself. When you're Miss Navajo, you are like the ambassador for the tribe. You have to speak your language. You have to have a skill. You have to have a talent. And I think that's what makes our pageant one of the few that really taps into the whole woman. There's a skill and a talent in the contemporary or modern portion of the pageant. And then there is a skill and a talent that's included in the traditional portion of the pageant. But it kind of gives an edge uh, to the Miss Navajo pageant, I guess, because, you know, how many pageants in the world can say, well, I competed in a pageant where you actually had to put your sheep. Once you're Miss Navajo, you're always Miss Navajo. Well, here we are, we're Native Americans, we're very much alive. This is probably once in a life opportunity for a Navajo girl. If you win, you're gonna be the representation of our tribe. Some people will only will see Miss Navajo one time in their lifetime, and, but that one impression is what they are gonna think of us as a people.